Asus was the first company to give us a glimpse of truly thin gaming laptops with the original Zephyrus. Now with the latest models, they're all about refinement. The new Zephyrus S is the latest high-end model, and it has a lot going for it. Um, first of all, there's a new case that's made out of a metal compound that just feels really nice to the touch. It almost feels like smooth sandstone uh, rather than traditional metal that you expect on a laptop. And that also makes the laptop much stronger than before. Uh, Asus is saying uh, under the hood, it's using a unique honeycomb design to really make that case rigid. And picking it up and feeling it, it feels a lot more like uh, Apple's MacBooks, honestly, rather than a gaming laptop from Asus. Hardware-wise, all these new Zephyrus machines are about Intel's ninth generation processors. We don't really have many details on those yet uh, because Intel still isn't talking about them. Uh, and NVIDIA's latest RTX graphics. So with the Zephyrus S, that's powered by the RTX 2070. It has a 240 hertz, three millisecond display. Uh, it looks astounding from what I can tell. I played a bit of Battlefield 5 on it and the screen looked incredibly smooth. Uh, the keyboard felt great. It just feels like a great refined gaming experience. It feels like a huge improvement over the original Zephyrus, uh, certainly, because uh, that machine just didn't feel like it had all the hardware in place. It felt a little janky, to be honest. This one feels honestly as strong as a MacBook Pro. Uh, Asus was also showing it off uh, doing video rendering, which is something you can also do thanks to all that GPU power. The new Zephyrus S will also support NVIDIA's G-Sync technology, which will help to keep the screen uh, smooth while you're actually playing games. So even if your performance isn't matching that 240 hertz panel, it's still going to look pretty smooth. And Asus claims that it's also under 4.4 pounds. Uh, lifting it up, it certainly felt pretty light. It felt about comparable to a MacBook Pro 15 inch at this point. And kind of in the mid-range, there's a new Zephyrus M. It has the same case, it feels just as strong, but the internal hardware is a bit weaker. It has an RTX 2060 GPU, uh, no G-Sync, and it has less cooling than the Zephyrus S, but it still feels like a very powerful machine, uh, even though it's not running the best hardware out there right now. It's probably more for somebody who wants to do some gaming, uh, but maybe it's more focused on productivity, but just wants a cool looking machine. It certainly looks unique and uh, just feels incredibly sturdy. Both of those Zephyrus machines also support charging over USB-C. Uh, you're probably not going to be able to game at that range uh, just because USB-C doesn't deliver enough power to support a GPU. But if you're just browsing the web or working at a coffee shop somewhere, it's enough to keep the machines running, which is pretty convenient because then you don't have to lug around the heavy power adapters. And Asus is also adding something new to the gaming family this year with the ROG Zephyrus G. This is a machine with a plastic case. It's actually running an AMD Ryzen 7 CPU and NVIDIA 1660 Ti graphics, uh, which honestly isn't the sort of hardware you'd expect in a Zephyrus machine. Uh, you're expecting that to be the highest end of what Asus is offering. It's really all in service of delivering a really inexpensive machine. It's gonna start at $1199, which feels like entry level compared to some of the other Zephyrus models. And that's enough power to do some gaming, certainly above 60 frames per second. This model has a 144 hertz 1080p panel, not the 240 hertz models we're seeing in the more expensive units, uh, but still impressive. And honestly, having 144 hertz on a gaming laptop still feels good today. It still feels silky smooth. And certainly with that hardware, you're not really gonna see much beyond 144 FPS anyway. Uh, I think for an entry level gamer who maybe wants something, maybe a step above Dell's G series line, uh, but isn't ready to invest the nearly 2000 that you'd need for a really well spec'd out Zephyrus, this seems like a really good model. And in addition to that AMD CPU and the NVIDIA GPU, the Zephyrus G is also going to pack in 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage, which honestly is a lot of value when it comes down to it. And while Asus didn't talk about this today, they're saying some configurations will be even cheaper. So there's a good chance we're going to see this machine under $1,000 pretty soon. So overall, these are pretty much the improvements we were expecting from the Zephyrus line from Asus. No huge surprises, but there are some big technological leaps. I think the cases feel great. Those 240 hertz displays are a huge step up from last year. And all in all, it's about Asus really cementing its role as the leader in creating thin and light laptops.